Hello there and welcome to All Painting My Way. My name's Rob, I hope you're having a great day. Right, this is video sequence number five. Hopefully you've been following along and you've watched all the other uh, videos in the sequence before this. So this is video sequence number five and for this we've now reached the foreground of the actual painting and what we're going to be doing we're going to be putting in some base colors for a tree which is going to go on the left hand side of the actual painting and some bushes along the foreground just some basic bushes and a, a higher shrub on the right hand side now as i've mentioned in previous videos you need to put the base colors down first which have to be a dark color because you need your darks to be enabled to show you the lights you know, without the dark colors the lights and the highlights don't show up so you need the darks so in this video what we're going to be doing is putting down as i say the base colors just for a tree and and some bushes and then in the next video to follow this what we're going to be doing we're probably going to be putting some highlights on the tree but for now this is sequence number five and this is the highlights for the bushes in tr tree so i do hope you enjoy once the video is finished if you can please give me a thumbs up and a like really appreciate it and hopefully see you in the next video take care now bye bye right so what we're going to do now is we're going to basically block in some dark colors ready for our bush along this side maybe some bushes here not too sure exactly what yet um and we did mention the previously about putting a tree up here so basically to do that obviously you need to have the base colors down so i'm just going to mix some up using some sap green some burnt umber and some burnt sienna so bear with me one second while i just go away from the camera i'm just basically going to have hopefully we've got a nice dark color here maybe is that going to be dark enough let's put a little bit more green in there Okay, we're going to have some sort of bush here of some sort. So, excuse the noise that this is making while I put this on here. But if we just think of a shape of a bush of some sort, we need to basically block this in. To twist and turn the brush because you'll get different patterns. You don't want everything to be uniform. You want all of these little bits sticking out, all these little edges, because they look like sort of leaves. And basically, you're just filling it in because this is your dark tone. You need your dark tone there to be able to show all of your lights. So just get all of that in. Again, twist and turn the brush. You want to have different patterns if you can't do it all the same because you'll end up with a uniform pattern and it will just look really strange let's twist and turn the brush that comes up sort of half way so we just basically fill that in there then what we're going to do we mentioned about a tree now you have to be brave to make this decision of where you're actually going to put it so i've got a big thick brush here let me just get some paint Again, this is burnt sienna, burnt umber, and sap green. There's a lot of 
paint loaded up on the on the brush there and you need to decide we'll be coming in maybe at an angle like that very slight not too drastic and then you basically got to think am i brave enough to do this and the answer has to be yes and you need to literally just think okay that's where my tree is going to go i've done it now and that's where it's going don't be too precise with it as i say trees have not got perfectly straight edges i'll just take that up like that bring it down let's get some more paint excuse me while I'm away from the screen let's get some more paint and fill that in fill that off the edge maybe let's just take that right off and then what we can do <coughs> maybe there's a limb that comes up and just goes off like that small brush let me just maybe bring that back in there a little bit coming off like that and another one maybe there's a small one coming off that way This is just a base colour as I say, we get this down. And then maybe what we can do <clears throat> is go back to our, our foliage colour that we had here. Just bounce that brush around. filling up the ground as a as a base color keep the brush turning remember the different shapes so we're looking at a bush of some sort this is just a block of wood I've actually got here it's just to help lift the canvas so I can actually get it in the top of the the support at the top because if I put it on the on the, the base here this actual clamp doesn't reach down so I've just got a small block of wood here if you're wondering what this is so let's just get 
this base down, twist and turn the brush, base colours going down. Let's come across to the edge of this tree here. Maybe that will go in front of the Just getting these darks down there. Okay, so basically we've filled that part of the canvas in with our base colour. what and what we can do is come to a smaller brush for a smaller we won't go with that one let's go with bear with me one second I'm away from the screen you just come into this detail round, it's a number four detail round. I'm just going to load that up with a bit of the dark colour. Just to... I'll actually put a little bit of the, uh, the clear gel in here as well. And just make a few little Few little limbs. Excuse my hand if it's in front of the lens again. I can't actually see myself. Just basically just putting in all those extra little bits of detail. Some of this will be covered up if we decide to put some leaves on it, so don't worry too much if it doesn't come out perfect. Maybe have one as if it's coming back down here over the top. Excuse my hand again, I do apologize. And then maybe just just a few little twigs and sticks. As I say, this possibly will be covered if we're actually going to be putting some leaves on. Okay. Do just maybe again, excuse my hand. You can put as much of this on as you want. 
obviously the more refined detail you can go into the better it will look in the end <coughs> So basically you just give that an idea, something like that. Just maybe bring that out. Just remember that branches are going in all different directions and they'll overlap one another. So, as I say, some of this will be covered up, some of it won't. Basically, what you need to do after that is to put the highlights on to define which is going to be your individual bushes and things around here. And remember that you're going to be able to see into the bush, you're going to see dark areas as well as the lights. So hopefully once we come back to that, we can see all of the colours, decide what colour the bushes and things are going to be. But for now, what we've got there, I think is our foreground done. And now big tree that we said we were going to put in with our bush. So for now, I think that's it.